This ponytail tyrant forced an interaction on a kid who was out there exercising his rights and she arrested him for exercising those rights. Which, by the way, Officer Holland from the Mendota, Illinois Police Department is a crime. Stop. Why are you recording the nursing home? I'm speaking to you. Chris. Please, please let me go. No, I uh, need to find out what's going on. You're upsetting the people who work here. So stop. You work for me, I don't work for you. Did what I do anything doing? illegal? You're upsetting the people who live here. Did I do anything illegal? I want to know what's going on because you're upsetting these people. I want to know what's going on because you're upsetting these people. I'm going to put you in handcuffs if you don't stop. You could put me in handcuffs. Okay, then stop. No, you could put me in handcuffs. This isn't illegal. Then her sergeant arrived on the scene and had her answer for her crime. So what did he do that was disorderly? I'm getting a complaint about you being over here recording. And he's like, walk away. I'm like, Chris, come here. Okay. Chris, come here. Chris, come here. But what was he doing that they feel is disorderly? It, I explained to them the situation and they Sam, said, what was he doing that was disorderly? He was recording them in the windows. So he's walking by videotaping the building? Videotaping the building. He's like zooming in on the It's end. not illegal to do so that. I explained to them what's going on and they're like, oh my gosh, okay, I, I don't know what he's doing. Okay, but time out. State. That's not illegal to do that. Okay. So he's not acting in a disorderly manner if he's on the sidewalk walking by videotaping the outside of the building. Don't! Hello, darkness, my old friend. That's the problem we have. Spoiler alert, the kid, that's Chris, clung to his rights the entire time even though he was being intimidated and arrested. Let's take a look at this. I've often said on this channel, an injustice that happens to one man anywhere is injustice that happens to all men everywhere. And on the positive side of that, a person who stands for his rights anywhere is a person who stands for all men's rights everywhere. Even if it's a kid, the kid that you see on the screen, his name is Chris and Chris comes from the YouTube channel Laws Are Us and he's standing toe to toe with Sergeant Stewart here from the Mendota, Illinois Police Department. This is their Facebook page. I'll leave the link in the description, if not in the description and in the pinned comment. But what I wanted to highlight here is that you don't have to be a certain age or a certain race or a certain ethnicity or certain gender to champion of the cause of individual rights. And when you're doing it, you're doing the just thing. You're doing the right thing. It's never wrong to do that which is right. But it's always wrong to do that which is wrong. And that's exactly what these Mendota, Illinois Police Department employees are doing. Now, there's a silver lining here, but even embedded within the silver lining, and the silver lining I'm saying is Sergeant Stewart here. And I think the woman's name, her last name is Holland, and she goes by the name Sam, or at least that's what Sergeant Stewart calls her. Uh, so we're going to go maybe Samantha. Samantha Holland is the female police officer. But I want to show you, there's so many things involved in this video right here. Not only do you have an individual whose rights are being trampled, his freedoms are being completely suppressed, i.e. he is handcuffed and put in the back of a patrol cruiser against his will, having done nothing wrong, being charged with a crime for simply standing on and exercising his rights. Not only do we have that going on, but we have an example of the actions of cops that demonstrate that they believe that they are above the law. So we're gonna point out a couple of these things. I am gonna making some commentary as we go along. Hopefully you'll see this as a learning experience, something that adds to your knowledge base because when you add knowledge, I don't care how incremental it is, when you're increasing in knowledge, you're increasing in your power. And if there's one thing that psychopathic authoritarian power trippers don't wanna encounter is a man or woman who knows their rights, is willing to stand on their rights and has the balls to get out a video camera and record as their rights are being trampled. So let's listen to this from Laws Are Us. By the way, the kid's name is Chris, if I haven't mentioned that. Getting complaints about you. Chris, come here. I'm talking to you. Why are you recording the nursing home? You're upsetting the people who live here. Chris, stop walking. Stop. What is going on? Why are you recording the... 
So just just to point out, she grabbed him. She approached him. She grabbed him. He is under no obligation to talk to him. As a matter of fact, we have something codified in the Constitution, namely the Bill of Rights, namely the Fifth Amendment. You don't have to talk to cops. You don't have to implicate yourself. You don't have to help them investigate you. Chris, stop. Why are you recording the nursing home? I'm speaking to you. I'm getting complaints about your actions. What is going on? Chris. Please, please let me go. No, I uh, need to find out what's going on. You're upsetting. There you go. Exhibit A, hands on. What if you did this to cops? We know what would happen. The people who work here. So stop. I'm going to go. I'm ordering you to stop. So I, stop. I don't, you work for me. I don't work for you. Well, I work for the public who right. called me here because of the actions. <laughs> did I do anything doing. illegal? You're upsetting the people who live here. Did I do anything illegal? 27 from 156. Can you assist? You need to stop, okay? I'm gonna. What go. is going on and why? Is are this you... illegal? I want to know what's going on because you're upsetting these people. I want to know what you're Did doing. Did I do anything illegal? I don't answer questions. Okay, Definitely. now in the upper left hand corner, I've included a, a, a picture in picture view of as Miss Holland. I don't know, Officer Holland, Sam Holland is talking with Chris from Laws Are Us. There's a call that goes out to Sergeant Stewart. Now we're going to watch Star Sergeant Stewart break traffic laws on his way to a non-emergency. Yes, that's right. Badges and uniforms grant special rights. Disorderly conduct, Chris. Disorderly conduct, They're how? alarming and disturbing the people who Am I allowed here? to photograph on the sidewalk or no? I'm trying to figure out what you're doing. Okay. Chris? Look, she's, I'm going to put you in handcuffs if you don't stop. You can put me in handcuffs. Okay, then stop. No, you can put me in handcuffs. This isn't legal. Stop. This is not legal. This what is, are you doing? This is not legal. Chris? This is not legal. I'm trying. Okay, I'm, I'm going I'm about my day. So he's speeding upper left-hand corner. Sergeant Stewart is speeding through the neighborhood. This is illegal. That's a Terry stop. I am detaining you. That's a Terry stop. Put the phone down. We're going to watch him blow stop. through the first stop sign, the first of two stop signs. What's going on? You hear his engine revving. Here he goes. He's about to run the stop sign. There's the stop sign. Boom. Runs the stop sign. What, what's your deal? Now what's he's going, on he's going across the railroad tracks. He's about to blow through the second stop sign. He just crossed the double yellow line. Absolutely, I do. By the way, double double yellow, yellow line, you would get a ticket for this. Look, he's clearly across the double yellow line right here. You get it. You and I would get a ticket for that, but not Sergeant Stewart. And he is not on his way to. It's not a bank robbery. Nobody's life's in jeopardy. He he should be able to do the speed limit. He doesn't have his sirens activated. I think he has his lights activated because you can see the illumination of the lights and the flashing of the lights in the uh, reflection of the stop sign. Do you have your body cam on? Ten four ten six. Absolutely, I do, my friend. Clearly speeding. Now he's, what's going on he just blew the second stop sign. Because you're upsetting them. Now he's about to approach the scene. There's Chris and is he a supervisor? Absolutely Officer Holland. Absolutely, he is. Perfect. Sergeant Stewart, I've detained him because he keeps walking away from me. He won't tell me what's going on, and he's recording the people who are inside of the Luther Hall. Did you hear the three things? I've detained him because he's not talking to me, number one. He keeps walking away, number two, and he's recording inside the Lutheran home from a public sidewalk. None of those are detainable offenses. None of those could ever be construed as a crime, and yet she chose to detain him anyway. Wait a second. You mean you don't suspect him of having committed a crime? He's just not going to talk to you? He keeps walking away when you're trying to engage in a non-consensual encounter? And he's um, he's recording from a public sidewalk. What's the detainable offense? Why are you recording him inside? And he will not give me that answer. He keeps coming away from me. I'm there. definitely not answering questions to you guys. But okay, I'll, I'll hold him. We'll see if they'll sign a complaint for disorderly conduct. <laughs> this is literal insanity, guys. Hey, can I not you can photograph on the sidewalk? They were, they, were, they were concerned that you were photographing residents inside. No, there wasn't. You weren't? No. You just photographed look, them. Look, all these lines are closed, yeah? Long here? I don't know yeah, if they are look, not. Yeah, go look at them. <laughs> all right. Why wouldn't you stop when she asked you to? Do I have to? Yes. Was I being detained? Yes. What crime was I suspected of committing? 
You really want to go that route? What, what kind of route? You really want to go what route? You really want to stand on your rights? You really want to do that? You really want to ply me with the question of why do I have, why have we taken away 100% of your freedoms and you're not free to go right now? You really want to go that, that route? Yeah. Yeah, Oscar, we really do. Investigating somebody acting in a disorderly manner. How? Oh. You're video recording a nursing home and you were upset on the sidewalk. We didn't know that. Don't we have to talk photography about Photography on the sidewalk. Do okay. I have to answer questions to that? No, I don't. Wow. Do I? Where'd you get your law degree, man? Do I? And doesn't it always come down to that? When you're sitting there fighting for your rights, which is equivalent to fighting for your life, where did you get your law? Oh, you're some kind of curbside lawyer, aren't you? Uh, I'm just an American fighting for the rights that you swore to protect and defend, Officer Stewart. Well, if you just cooperated with her, you wouldn't be in handcuffs, right? That's what we got to get to the bottom of. Silence, is there being a crime committed? Silence is the consent for you to consistently write me. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Not a problem. If I do not. What? Did I do anything illegal? That's what we're trying to figure out. That's a Terry stop. You have to come up to me and make consensual contact. Because, you know why? Because I did not do anything illegal. Okay. 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 Perfect. We'll do a Terry stop uh, or a contact card with you. <laughs> then you'll be served with but no, you forced the Terry stop on me. No, we have to do an no, investigative you, stop. You guys just put me in handcuffs. I didn't because you're disobeying an officer. How? Is that she illegal? She told you to stop. Come here. You're, you're Did I do anything illegal? That's disobeying what coming out of the mouth of an officer? Clearly an unlawful order. She doesn't even have a basis from which to operate under her own laws, let alone the fact that she's clearly operating outside of constitutional law. That's what we're trying to determine. Okay, uh, so so I'm not going to argue with no you. There's no reasonable suspicion. I'm not going to argue with you. No reasonable suspicion. Yes, there is. No, that what? What, what is define reasonable suspicion? What, what crime am I suspected? Define reasonable suspicion. What crime am I suspected of committing? Isn't that what we're here to investigate? Do you suspect me of committing a crime? Yeah, it's what reported crime? you were committing a crime. What crime? You're videotaping residents inside the nursing home. Inside the nursing home, and what, is that illegal from the sidewalk? Yes, to, 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 video to videotape, videotape people inside. To videotape yeah, from the right sidewalk privacy. is illegal. To videotape from the sidewalk. No, you're illegal. asking two separate questions. To, is videotaping from the sidewalk? Tell me what illegal? reasonable suspicion is, being is, that you're asking is, that question. Is videotaping from the sidewalk illegal? You don't get it, do you? Can you? I'm you not going to explain any more because I you am the sergeant. Can you call a lieutenant? Nope. Okay. Dude, I roll up. This You're is, in cops. I'm this trying to figure it illegal. out. This is not illegal. Well, but that's what, what we're trying doing, to figure what out. What you don't want us to figure what out. What I was doing was not illegal because okay. I wasn't doing anything illegal. So if you, uh, Why do I have to so if you jaywalk, you're not doing anything illegal because you say you don't do anything illegal. If you I damage a vehicle, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't do anything illegal. Damaging a vehicle is illegal. Okay, but, but how do we know that you are doing something illegal because it got reported so you're that you were? Assuming that no, we got a report. We're not assuming. You got we a report reported. saying what? That you were doing something illegal. That was so you got a report. Yeah, this guy here is doing something illegal. Didn't say what though. That you're videotaping the residents inside the nursing home. No. Okay. No, there's no but even if he was, if he's doing it from a public sidewalk, that's not illegal. It may be questionable. It may be kind of weird. I, if I was in a nursing home, I wouldn't want to be recorded. But what do you do? It's a public sidewalk. Freedom is dangerous. Freedom is uncomfortable. Pr freedom sometimes is offensive. But I'd rather have that kind of dangerous freedom, uncomfortable freedom, offensive freedom than no freedom at all. Nobody in there, and am I videotaping on their property or on the sidewalk? Here's the thing that's what we're it's trying like, to determine. This is illegal, this is illegal right here. No, this is you illegal. can be detained, it's no, not illegal. I can't forcibly be detained when I have you're not being forcibly detained. Yes, you're I being am. detained I'm, be, I'm being held here. Against you're not being forcefully detained, you're being detained in handcuffs against your will. This cop is clearly 50 to 75 pounds heavier than this. The, the kid's not going anywhere, he's there against his will. That is being forcefully detained. The, the cops don't know what detainment means. They don't know that arrest and detainment is effectively the same thing. They don't know the difference between public and po private property. They don't know what the constitutional laws are. They couldn't articulate the five freedoms in the First Amendment. They don't even know what's going on. That is their profession. They're supposed to know what's going on. They're supposed to be able to delineate and define what the laws are. And they're supposed to act in accordance to those law. But, but oftentimes we see them operating outside the bounds of even their own laws, let alone, you know, they're just using the Constitution for a floor mat every single day.
against my will. I am being held okay. here against my will. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Am I free to go? No, you're not free to go. You're being detained. <laughs> For what kind of am I suspected? You're not free to go, but I'm not forcing you here against your will. <laughs> we already told you. Videotaping on the sidewalk. No. Illegal detainment. No, that's your illegal. That's what you're saying. Illegal detainment. That's what you're saying you're doing. No. They I said you were visitate, visit, videotaping so the residents inside. So they made the call? Inside. Yes. They made the call? Yes. Okay. And that's what you say. If it's true that they really got this call that he's videotaping inside this home, then the next question that this sergeant should have asked, because he's the one in control, obviously, or he's the he's the chief of the other police officers in Mendota, uh, Illinois. What he should have asked is, is he recording from a public sidewalk? If he is, he has the constitutionally protected right to do that. If you got anything else for me that you feel like is criminal activity, run it by me. Have a good day. That's what he should have done. He should not be out there. This kid should not be standing there in cuffs. Body cam on too. This this is gonna be going to court. I do it. I was videotaping in front of the sidewalk. This is a universe. This is a whole. This is a right. I have no idea, man. man. You you won't cooperate with us to tell us what's going on. Well, you're being asked to cooperate. Right. Police officers giving you a direct order, and you're, you won't stop. Because I don't have to. Because I didn't yes, do anything did. illegal. No. So that's in your opinion, not ours. No, no, it's not an opinion. Okay. I did not do anything illegal okay. in general. Okay. Okay. Only reason I came here. Photographs because I knew it was within my rights. Okay. That's fine. I mean, if that's all you were doing, but if you're videotaping and taking pictures of people inside there, that's a different story. It's actually not a different story. If he's doing it from a public sidewalk, it's not a different story. It's the same story. Or if you're going on their property acting in a disorderly manner, that's that's uh, that's your problem to deal with. Here comes Holland. Here comes Sam. What you got for us, Sam? So what? So conduct. Okay. Disorderly conduct? Yes. How? For what? I already explained it to what you. What did guys. I do? Disorderly. Come on, let's go. What did so I do? What? <clears throat> what Put did him I in the car and we'll talk about us. What did I do disorderly? Just take my word for it. It's disorderly. That's your fault. Thank you. You're welcome. Is it still on record? Stay tuned. Here's where it really gets good. What was disorderly? We will talk about that once we get back. Get back? Yeah, get back to the police department. Okay. What's your phone too? Oh, she's dead set on putting this kid in a cage, man. All right, listen to this. Pop your trunk. Here's an interesting cop to cop interaction. So, what did he do that was disorderly? Pop your trunk. What's he recording? The whole side of the people walking like this. I'm like, I'm getting the complaints about you being over here recording. And he's like, walk away. I'm like, Chris, come here. Okay. Chris, come here. Chris, come here. But what was he doing that they feel is disorderly? And I explained to them the situation and they Sam, said, what was he doing that was disorderly? He was recording them in the I love that. He brings her back to reality. She's going all around this and that, not answering the question. And then he reels her back in. Listen to this. Come here. But what was he doing that they feel is disorderly? And I explained to them the situation and they said, Sam, what was he doing that was disorderly? He was recording them in the windows. The people? And he's walking by. He's On this side too? or? I don't know if it was that side, but when I came up, he was walking all around this way. He was recording the windows. He was recording the doors. He was recording everything. I'm like, Chris, I need to talk to you about this complaint. He's just walking like, Chris, I need to talk to you about this She's trying to make it sound bad, and it doesn't sound bad at all. He's recording the windows. He's recording, he's recording everything. Oh, my God. That's why I've got him in cuffs. That's why he's sitting in the back of the cop car with no rights. Who, who all seen him doing that? Were there residents in the windows? Uh, I don't know if residents were in the windows, but we had a caller about it, and... I need to get a hold of them and see where exactly they are. So he's walking by videotaping the building? He's videotaping the building. He's like zooming in on the windows, what, what, zooming that's, in on the doors. I know. It's and not illegal to do so that. I explained to them what's going on. And so they're now like, you're here, oh my gosh, okay, I, I don't know what he's doing. Okay, he's but time out. State. That's not illegal to do that. Okay. <laughs> so he's not acting in a disorderly manner if he's on the sidewalk walking by videotaping the outside of the building. Okay, but 
that's the problem we have. Yeah, and they were disturbed <laughs> by his actions once they found out what was She wasn't even phased by that. She wasn't even phased by that. She should have said, wait a second. You mean I put cuffs on a kid and I've got him held captive against his will in the back of my cop car and what he did is not illegal? Oh my God, are you serious? Look at her face. It, 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 it doesn't even phase her. She's not even affected by it. Okay. So he's not acting in a disorderly manner if he's on the sidewalk walking by videotaping the outside of the building. Okay. But That's the problem we have. Yeah, and they were disturbed by his actions once they found out what was going Bounces on. Bounces right off. So they were willing to sign up. But how are they? They're disturbed that he's walking on the sidewalk videotaping? They were concerned because they don't know his mental state. They don't know what he was doing. They, and I told him I can't Well, he before. wasn't, I mean, other than not obeying you, which is a no-no, mm -hmm. which, I mean, that is what it is, but. Let's qualify that. Not obeying you is not a no-no if it's not lawful. If you, if the cop cannot articulate the crime they think you committed or are about to commit, then they have no legal standing, no legal standing to stop you. So if they don't have it, you don't have to engage in them. That's so, so continuing to walk or not talk with a cop who doesn't have anything on you is not a no-no. This sergeant is absolutely in the wrong, even though he's acting cool, even though he's in the process of correcting this underling, he's in the wrong. I mean, we are talking about full scale trampling the constitution. I see people in the comment section, giving this cop commendations, it should be withheld from any tyrant under any shade or banner of tyranny. As far as walking by with a video camera, I mean, I'm not, uh, that's, that's not something that, they even though they're, bothered by the actions that you're doing. you could be bothered by a lot of things, Sam. Just, I think this is something we I'm need just, to send down to the state's attorney's office. As much as he's irritated you. No, no, he hasn't bothered me at all. Well, I just, he wouldn't stop and he wouldn't. I understand. He wouldn't. I'd hate to see if somebody did bother. He didn't bother me at all. I just went hands on. I just tied his hands behind his back. I just kept him from the, his free ride of travel and took essentially effectively took away hundred percent of his rights, but he didn't, he's not bothering me at all. Well, Sam, what does it look like when somebody does bother you? I mean, do fangs grow out of your skull claws come out of your fingernails. What's what happens? But, but this is, you can't do that. Yeah, just, <laughs> you can do that. So, um, I, I you, mean, well, you can actually defend yourself. There's, there, there is such a thing as a stand your ground law. If some injustice has visited you, it doesn't matter what clown costume the person is wearing. You have the right as a human being, just like all human beings have this right to defend yourself. Don't you? What we're going to do. Well, I want to know what that caller said too and what they had seen also. <laughs> you don't know? The thing is, Sam, he's on a sidewalk. He's okay. videotaping the building. Okay. I'll, we can send down a state's attorney's office for okay. them to review for charges, but... It, it's not illegal. Okay. I mean, if he's walking up onto the door, like all the way up to the door, and he's shining the phone and videotaping, then yeah, that's a problem. That's a problem because it would be a guy walking onto public prop, uh, uh, private property, not public property, but private property. Okay. But if he's walking on the public sidewalk, I mean, even if it's their sidewalk, I mean, he's just videotaping the building. People videotape schools. Oh yeah. Is that I alarming know. and disturbing? Yeah. I mean, it's something they're not used to, but. And yeah, he's he's a jerk, but I I mean that that beside the point. I mean, well, it, his his actions didn't bother me. It was the fact that he wasn't stopping, and I'm trying to address he's the situation. A, he, right he's what we call in the military a crap house lawyer. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. He's yeah, one of these people. So so what are they being? He's a crap house lawyer. What does that mean? That means they, they view the Constitution as crap and they view people who are going to fight for the Constitution and fight for their rights as crap house lawyers while they, the crap house law enforcement agents, restrict your American rights that they swore to protect, defend, and uphold. He acts that way and you know what? That's how he is. He's been raised that way. Good. So if that's true, good for the parents for raising their kids right. For not just bowing down and licking the boots of the authority. We don't have enough to arrest him at this time. We can okay. we detained him, which we were legally able to do. Oh, absolutely. We were within our justification to do so. Um, however, I don't feel at this point 
we can send it down for them to review, but I don't think what he's doing is something that constitutes uh, getting arrested. Okay. Okay? I'll explain it to him. <clears throat> so what did the cop just say? The cop just admitted that the kid is not merely being detained. He is, he is in the process or he's being arrested. He is in the state of arrest. They have stopped his free ride of travel. They have arrested him. Check this buckled out. Buckled up yourself or she buckled no, up? No, I buckled she him up. Safety first, right? Safety. Come on out. Now the cop sounds right. like he's being cool. Listen I to tell this. you, I got to get to the bottom of things. Right over here. Okay? I got to get to the bottom of things. And you uh, throw in these, uh, turn around. I'll talk to you with the handcuffs off. And you're still being detained. So I can Look at those cuffs on him, man. 16-year-old kid. Well, just stop. That's what you got to do sometimes. I mean, that was good. I feel like that was good. No, it's not illegal. We can detain you, okay? That's, That's the, the big, big difference. difference. <laughs> Everything that he said to Sam Holland, Officer Sam Holland, while the door was closed and the kid couldn't hear him, means what you just did is illegal. We have no standing. We have no reason to have him in cuffs in our cop car. And now he's saying, well, no, it's, what we did is not illegal. It absolutely is not only illegal, it's unconstitutional and violates every layer of natural law people leave the internet and they watch movies and videos and they think that they can just say whatever they want and do whatever they want well sometimes you have to confront the police and be talked to and say hey this is what i was doing you get a hell of a lot further with sugar than you do with salt that's true honestly if you had just stopped and explain what you were doing instead you've got to have this whole way. just let me talk there would have been this whole production okay i love how he shuts her down man it's classic you would have been on your way if you if you just talked to me when I wanted you to talk to me, if you if you just stopped walking when I told you to stop walking, if you came to me and, and uh, engaged in a conversation with me that you didn't want to have, you'd have been on your way. This whole production would have been eliminated. And what I would have said is, Chris, please don't videotape the place because you're freaking them out inside. Okay. You're not getting what I'm saying. No, I'm just asking for it. It's not, it's not illegal to videotape, but be smart about it, okay? People in there are old. People in there, mostly, it's, it's a, to be honest, it's a, it's a, women, uh, a woman-dominated uh, career in there with cooks and cleaners and nurses and nurses' helpers. It's, yeah, I, not this one, but the other one I've been in with my family. And so you see there's not very many men in there, very few. And the men that are in there are feeble older men or men who are recovering from illness or injury, and they can't really do much to defend themselves or help out. Yes, Chris, we've had people go in there and assault staff that were like... It's kind of reasonable what he's saying. I mean, it's kind of weird standing out on a public sidewalk recording an old folks home. That's just kind of weird. Would I do it? No. Why? Why, why would I do it? Just because I can? There's some things that you can do that you probably shouldn't do yeah you're free to do it it does make it look like you know you're kind of weird doing that why are you i mean what's your purpose being outside an old folks home i can understand a a post office or a federal building or a police station or something but an old folks home you know i i kind of agree with some of what this cop is saying let me know what you think in the comments section ex-boyfriends and husbands so not like your situation and i know you that's not what you were doing I don't know what the hell you're doing. You're walking by, taking a picture of the place. I mean, I mean, are you going to put it? You're out here. What are you going to do? Are you going to put it in your scrapbook someday and tell your kids there used to be a nursing home there? <laughs> exactly. Okay, but the thing you're getting confused on is we have a right and we are justified to stop you and question you and ask you, wait, what are you doing? Not in all cases. Not in all cases. You have to reasonably suspect, you know, if you want to take the reasonable articulable suspicion, even under that, you have to reasonably suspect that a crime is being committed. You know, even above that reasonable articulable suspicion from Terry V. Ohio, it's just, it's bunk. It's garbage. It's, it's putrid. We should eschew it like a hundred percent because what's above that is probable cause supported by an oath or affirmation. And there's got to be some kind of a warrant involved. You can't just walk up to somebody and infringe on the right to be secure in their person. And yet that's what they did. You do have the right not to, but here's the thing. How we ever get to the bottom of it? 
and then we take their word. Yeah, his mental state isn't quite right because, you know what? We don't know what he's got to say for himself. If you would have just said, hey, I'm just taking pictures, man. I'm not, I didn't mean to freak anybody out. Oh, okay. Well, let us go tell him that. Um, he's an innocent kid. He was taking some pictures. You know what? He, he understands it's, you know, but, but it is what it is. You know, putting me in handcuffs. We can do that. We can detain you. But because we have to get their side of the story. Well, when you come, when you, when you came mm -hmm. to talk to me, you need like consensual contact. Because I didn't do anything. No, no, no. Here's the thing. You don't. When we have give you a lawful order, you have to obey it. And you were given a. That's in your opinion. We don't know that. Let me put a caveat on that. Okay. You don't have to if it's an unlawful order. There is no, you have no obligation to stop when a cop says stop if you haven't been engaged in a crime. There's no reason to stop or, or talk to a cop who's trying to force a conversation out of you when you have the Fifth Amendment. There is no obligation to do that at all. As a matter of fact, you have a right not to do it. And maybe some would argue you have the, a duty not to talk to cops because you know, it's not going to go well for you. And if it doesn't go well for you, then they're going to set a precedent and it's not going to go well for anybody else either. We got the call that you were doing something illegal. So we have... Yes, they did, Chris. That's why I'm here. Chris, are you... Are you, are you, are you, are you they may have gotten a call, but they didn't... They said they... Did they just call... Chris, I've done this with your family and went round and round. And you know what? I'm not going to do it tonight. I'm telling you. Since you were a little boy, we've had this go round in circles. And here's the thing. No. The people called up and said... This guy is out there. We don't know what he's doing. We don't know what his mental state is. This is what's going on. We have a right and an obligation to the community to investigate that. You have. According to the Supreme Court, they do not have a right or an obligation to do anything because this would this would fall under safety concerns for society. Supreme Court has already ruled. I'll give you two cases, the Shaney versus Winnebago County and town of Castle Rock, Colorado versus Gonzalez. The Supreme Court has already said that law enforcement has no obligation to keep the public safe. Absolutely have to listen to the police and you have to stop when we're investigating something like that. You have to stop and say, hey, come here, we need to talk to you. If you don't like it, I'm sorry, but that's just how it is. Now, if we would, if you would have just done that, this would all have been avoided. Because then we could have said, you know what, Chris, you're being cooperative. Wait right here. Let me go talk to them and find out what happened. Just comply with and their authority. After we talk to them, and she gets a story, well, I'm sitting there going, okay, wait a minute. There's a lot of holes in this that don't make sense. Okay, so we have to process everything. And it's not something that happens like on the Internet or on TV in a matter of minutes. It takes some time. Sometimes it can be done fairly quickly, and other times it takes, we're sitting at the PD and new evidence comes to light. We talk to the person that called, and they're like, yeah, he was doing this. Oh, dude, that's not even remotely close to what we've been told. Okay, and we've got, we've got other witnesses who are collaborating what actually took place, okay? It's not as bad as it seems. We've had that happen many times. Bottom line is, when an officer tells you you got to stop and talk to him, you got to. Even if I did nothing to you don't know that at that point, right? I do not. This cop is contradicting himself all over the place. You don't have to talk to him. Him saying that is, hey, I'm just going to go ahead and shred the Fifth Amendment right now. I'm just going to cut it right out of there. You got to talk to us if we want to talk to you. Okay, then yeah. Why wouldn't you stop and talk? Because I did not think illegal. Okay, but we're round in the circle again. It was reported that you were. You have to stop and talk to the police. If not, Why? you get detained because that's what you have to do. Okay, well, I mean, <laughs> Eugene said in the chat, this cop's bullshit knob is stuck on 11. <laughs> the only reason they're in a loop is because of the cop, not because of the kid. He's not getting constitutional answers. He's getting what Leanne said in the chat. He's getting cops planning. That's all he's getting. I, Chris, you're, you're making a mountain out of a, of a complete molehill here. <laughs> no, it's okay. Can, can we just all... Uh, Says the people who came up and initiated a non-consensual encounter and and basically are we're in the process of kidnapping a kid the, he's making the mountain out of the molehill not the not the badged clowns no no they would never do that i think i understand I won't, I definitely won't you you listen <laughs> listen you can film it's just have some common courtesy and common respect if that was your loved one in there and you, were a, you had your mom or your sister or your girlfriend or whatever in there working, 
would you be comfortable with some guy they have no idea who he is out there doing this? I don't think that they need to call him in there. All these lines are closed. Okay. Well, I can tell you, we have no idea who called. It goes to a dispatch center, and we get sent, and we get told a little blurb about what's going on. So we're getting a third party, from the person who's calling to a dispatcher to us. Actually, fourth, if you want to count the computer they type it in. So by the time that happens, we're, we've got what we got. I understand. And that's why you finish putting the pieces together. When I roll up or she rolls up, Chris, got a minute? Yeah, what's up? Hey, somebody called that you're videotaping out here, are you? Yeah. What are you doing? Just videotaping, taking some pictures. Not really. Just kind of looking for a good shot. Oh, okay. Well, we can't. Yeah. Well, now we do. But do you see what I'm saying? So and after you you've actually talked to us, now we know what your side is. Does that make sense? Yeah, but okay. I just don't think that, for one, I have to answer any questions whatsoever. You know, I, at most, if I'm being detained, all I have to do is give you guys my ID. You guys already know. Where'd what you read that at? It's your, what's it called? It is your, your I don't have to It's your police policy, but more than that, there's something called, oh gosh, what's it called? Oh, that's right. It's the supreme law of the land. There is no law above it. I have this right. I have this unalienable right that you can't take away from me and that you didn't give to me. That's where I got that. Right. So then we don't get your side of the story and then we got theirs and another witnesses and that's what we go on. And then you end up getting arrested. <laughs> but we don't know you. No. And then you wind up getting arrested. You wind up getting arrested for exercising your constitutionally protected rights. And we feel pretty good about that here in Mendota. We don't know that. Listen, for your, for your stuff. For... Okay, that's a court, not out on the street. Oh. Okay. okay, okay, we missed that. Okay, listen to this. Listen to this. For your for your stuff. For... Okay, that's a court, not out on the street. I'm innocent until proven guilty. And Holland says, oh, no, 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 no. That's only in a court, not out on the street. Out here where we rule the roost, you're guilty until proven innocent. Says it all. Because that is what she said. Now, this could have been a Freudian slip, but she meant it. It came from the out of the overflow or the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. She spoke what's actually in her heart. And that's what we see time after time and video after video. The cops literally believe that you're the enemy, that you are guilty, and it's a come incumbent on you to prove your innocence. That is the that is the American law enforcement mentality. Oh, okay, then it can get taken care of in court. We're done. You, you give him his phones back and he can go. Did you end up throwing it in my trunk or? Yeah, they're in the trunk. Okay. I appreciate it. Okay. You gotta let us get to the bottom of yeah, things. Yeah, like, thanks for nothing. Time. Thanks for That's nothing. That's we ask. Sometimes you, it's, it's vindicated, like this case, and other times it's not, but I can tell you. Yep. If we, have to, if we have to talk to you, that's just how it's gotta be, okay? It's not a big deal. All right, we're out of here. You have any questions, kiddo? Um, Do you ride anywhere? No, I'm where I'm supposed to be. Okay. Officer Stewart, um, Officer Holland. Yep. All right, take care, man. All right, thank you guys. Yep, have a good one. Officer Stewart and Officer Holland. And the kid's name is Chris. And the name of his YouTube channel is Laws Are Us. And here is the Mendota, City of Mendota, Illinois Police Department. What I'll do is I'll leave Chris's link, in the, at least in the description. When I put a link in the pinned comment, I mean, a high percentage of the time they disappear. So I'm going to put in, in the description, I will definitely have Laws Are Us link and the Mendota, City of Mendota, Illinois Police Department Facebook page there. So you can let them know what you think. And maybe is there a phone number? Yeah, there's a public phone number right there. Look, there it is right there. So feel free to be respectful and be kind and call them and let them know what you think their stand is from the perspective of the Constitution. Personally, I think this ki kid did fantastic. This kid, without wavering, in the face of going to jail, didn't back down. And how many of us, how many Americans would have backed down? And he stood there and he took it and he, took, he looked, he stared injustice in the face and he stood on what he knew to be right while these cops who are supposed to know what they're doing did what's wrong. So... These cops became the, the conformists, like we always say, the conformists they shouldn't be instead of the moralists that they should be. They should be doing what is right regardless of what they're told. Instead, they do what is wrong 
uh, regardless of what is right. And it gets to the point where, man, I'm sick of this. So add this to your knowledge base. If you got something positive out of this video right here, share it, give it a like, leave a comment because the engagement really helps. You know, there's suppression algorithms all over the place. But I'm telling you guys, we got to support this kid. We got to support kids like this because he can inspire other kids and other adults. I'm personally inspired by this guy. This happened three years ago. Holy cow. It's just now getting out. First I saw it was yesterday or the day before. So support this kid. Let him know your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell notification icon. Give it a thumbs up. Share it with everybody you know. Don't forget to subscribe to my private email list through my website, highimpactflix.com. If you want to support the channel further, you don't have to, but you know, grab a shirt. It really helps me uh, you know, be able to keep the lights on and be able to do what I'm doing. Become a channel member. But more importantly, fight for and stand for your freedoms. If you don't fight for them, if you don't exercise them, you will definitely lose them. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.